So let's draw the uh, free bar diagram for the skier. Um, this would be our angle of incline, theta, and we can say that the force of the wind would be going to the left. We can say that perpendicular to the surface of contact would be normal, and then going straight down would of course be the force of gravity, mg. So we can say for part A, this is going to be a constant velocity, which would give us an acceleration equaling zero meters per second squared. And we can say that here, applying Newton's second law, uh, after applying Newton's second law, we find that mg sine of theta minus the force of the wind is going to equal zero. And so this yields that the force of the wind is simply going to be equal to the mass mg sine of theta. And this is equaling 40 kilograms multiplied 9.8 meters per second squared times sine of 10 degrees. And we find that the force of the wind is equaling 68 newtons, given that our Cartesian axes are on x. We can then say that here, for part b, if we changed our Cartesian axes, uh, we have that an acceleration a is going to be equal to 1.0 meters per second squared. And we can then say that mg sine of theta minus the force of the wind would equal ma. And now we can say that the force of the wind equaling mg sine of theta minus ma. So minus the mass of 40 kilograms times 1.0 meters per second squared. And at this point, the wind would be equal to 68 minus 40, or simply 28 newtons. So this would be your answer for part B, our answer for part A. And then for part C, we are going to then, again, here we have mg sine of theta minus the force of the wind so is equaling ma. But now here, the acceleration is 2 meters per second. So now we have the force of the wind equaling, again, 68 newtons minus 2 times 40, or 80 newtons. This is equaling negative 12 newtons. And the negative sign means that here, wind is in the direction of the skier, or we can say here it would be downhill instead of uphill. That is the solution. Thank you for watching.